Welcome back to GamecocksOnline.com. I'm joined by head volleyball coach Tom Mendoza after the Gamecocks snap a three-game losing streak with a big win over Cincinnati at home tonight. Coach, obviously nothing like uh, sleeping in your own bed and, and some home cooking to get you out of that little funk. What were kind of your some takeaways from the match tonight? Well, I mean, we know we can play good volleyball. We know we're a good team. Uh, and, and it was great to see kind of a complete game today. Uh, obviously, the defense and blocking uh, were really effective in the first and third sets. Uh, and when they weren't in the second set, our, our offense uh, was able to match Cincinnati's offense. And, and so there was a lot of side out, siding out in the second set. So it's good to see that we can play uh, a couple different styles with this group. Uh, and even though we, you know, we would have liked to have just, we were, we were up a couple points late in the second set, um, but then all of a sudden they had a, a, game, a couple of game points and it was great to see our team respond uh, with some really big swings to, to get things back in our favor. So uh, another phenomenal atmosphere at the Carolina Volleyball Center. Again, I think we're just building uh, something really, really exciting uh, and, and very thankful for our fans and the band and everyone that's contributing to it. Let's talk about your middles on the defensive side. Obviously, with 14 blocks on a three-setter, you know your middles are putting in some work. Ellie Ruprick with, I think, eight blocks total. Abby with the final two blocks of that final set to seal or to seal the second set. Um, what were they able to do? Was it, a, was it a scouting and reading? It, was it just kind of finding the flow of it? What were they doing so well tonight? It's a balance of those. Obviously, every team has certain tendencies, whether it's rotational, who they want to set, uh, or hitter tendencies. And, and I thought we did a good job of of balancing, uh, you know, trying to make some adjustments against Cincinnati versus just going and, and, and you know, balance that with just going and being aggressive uh, and getting our hands across the net and making sure we're putting up as, as uh, impactful as, of a block as possible. So uh, I thought they, again, we, we come up with six blocks in the first set. We don't get any in the second set until the two last points. Obviously, we were really excited about those last two, uh, but you see how big of a difference our block can make uh, in a set when, when we go in and put two blocks like that up. Obviously, the, the Clemson match was kind of a, not a coming out party because I already knew what you had with Jenna Hampton, but it seemed like she finally was able to be as effective as you know she can be. Uh, what was she able to carry over from that into tonight? Again, really extending plays and giving the team some extra swings. Well, you, you mentioned our block, and I think it's just that relationship of, you know, our blockers, uh, you know, some of those balls that are heading over into that area, them not trying, you know, understanding where they can let the ball pass to the block uh, and that she's going to make a lot of those plays. Um, you know, and, and so, yeah, it's just giving her some clear channels to, to read through. Uh, so there's always that balance of how much is too much space that we're giving for teams to hit to that side of the court uh, versus, yeah, letting her go make as many plays as possible. So, uh, you know, she's a stabilizing force. You know, she, her, you know, the best players that I've gotten to work with, and, and I would include Jenna in that category, are, are play at that level every single day. Uh, so, yeah, our, our team gets to, to see that in practice every day, and it's great to him for people that come to our games to see how impactful and how great of a volleyball player she is. But it, it's her effort level, and, and that's the thing we say. Like, she goes after everything as hard as she can. She's engaged all the time. Uh, so for any young uh, you know, volleyball players that are watching her, yeah, she's talented, but uh, her engagement and, and her uh, energy level is, is what makes her really special. Obviously, the format, not your usual non-conference, but obviously does copy the SEC format with back-to-back -back games. How important is it for you as a staff to prepare your teams not just for seeing Cincinnati again tomorrow at 1, but this format going forward of having to play teams back-to-back? -back? Yeah, we understand how good Cincinnati is. I know they've lost some, some tight matches. You know, they lost to Pitt in 5. They lost to BYU in 4. Uh, but, they're, I mean, they're playing about as hard of schedule as, I, as I've seen a team play uh, in the non-conference trying to get them ready. Uh, for to make a run in their conference, and they're going to be, uh, you know, they'll get a lot of wins within their conference and, and, and do really well this year. We know how good of a team they are. So for us, I don't think we're we're overlooking them by any means. Tomorrow, they're going to make some adjustments. That's what we see. You know, I think this is prepping us for the SEC, but I think the, playing in the SEC is, is prepping us for this as well because we've seen teams that have lost the first mass, match make a lot of adjustments, come out uh, and fix some things. And, and if you're the team that wins the first match, you've got to also make those adjustments because uh, the other team's going to come out motivated and, and know what they need to fix. Uh, and so we need to fix a couple things and, and play as clean or, or better than we played today uh, and hopefully um, have another great result in front of our, our, a good crowd.